What's up everybody? Today I want to talk about the best camera setting for concert photography. Yeah, yeah, I right know. You might think there's not only one setting for concert photography, but this one I will show you is my main setting for, I think, 90% of all my concert jobs. So you need to know, when I started out as a concert photographer, I was that guy standing in front of a stage, taking all the same shots that everyone else did. And after a few concerts, I was a little bit disappointed because my shots really looked boring. So I came up with this idea to ask some bands and artists if it would be possible to join them on stage and hopefully deliver some more interesting shots that will show all the sweat and the action that happens on stage. And after I reached out to them, they told me, yeah, no problem, you can join us, that will be fun. But there's one thing, you need to be invisible on stage. You need to be a concert photography ninja. Okay, that's not exactly what they said, but that happens in my mind when I heard them talking. So, first of all, I wanted to make me invisible. So I bought some really decent clothes. Black hat, black shirt, black jeans, black shoes, and very important, black socks. And um, after I was invisible, I tried to make my equipment invisible. And um, so I covered all the bright spots on my equipment with black duct tape. You can see this here. Yeah, I covered everything with black duct tape. So the equipment really became stealthy. And the last thing is, I wanted to find a camera setting that kills all the camera noises, so no beeps or no focus sounds and on the other hand delivers me really cool and perfect pictures. So in this setting I will show you right now. So let's jump into the settings. So the camera you're seeing here is my trusty Sony Alpha a7R2. Um, I'm filming with the A7 III right now, but um, the setting will work on every other camera out there because it's more the idea behind it. And you will see it if we go a little bit deeper. So first of all, I want to kill all the audio signals. So you will find this in settings and go to audio signals and turn them off. So this is a really small thing, but it's really helpful. So the next thing that you want to change is the shutter sound. So you will find a setting that is called silent shooting. And when it's off, the camera will sound like this. And this is really, really loud, especially when you are shooting in really quiet environments. So you easily turn it on and your camera will sound like this. No sound at all. <laughs> um, but there's one little thing. When you are turning on the silent mode, then it activates the electronic shutter and sometimes when you are shooting in a um, location with LED lights you can get some strange fringing into the images. But it will make the camera really quiet so I keep that on every time and sometimes I change it when it's really really necessary. And so the last thing that I normally do is I change the setting for viewfinder and monitor. So it's normally set to auto. That means when your head or your eye is coming close to the viewfinder, 
it will turn off the um, monitor and activate the electronic viewfinder. And when you take your hand off, it will turn on the monitor again. So what I do is I go for viewfinder. And now you can see there's only the viewfinder is turning on and the camera totally is dark. So the last tip is, and it's not setting wise, it's more like how you kill the focus sounds of your lens. I normally use prime lenses with manual focus, like this one. It's um, the Voigtlander 35mm 1.4 for the E-mount. And um, as you can see, if you focus, you hear nothing just when you are changing the aperture. But it's quiet as well. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below or connect with me via Instagram or Facebook. Um, I love to hear your feedback on this. So see you next time. Bye. So well, there's one last thing. Um, I do these videos because I want to reach three goals. The first is I want to talk more about photography and design. And the second one is I want to reach out to new people around the world and learn from them. And the third one is I want to be a better speaker and writer in English. So if you want to help me out, please leave a comment, reach out to me via Instagram or Facebook. So that's it. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time.